okay in this video i'm going to be showing guys how you can install alt store using your windows computer so before we even start with the installation for alt store we're going to need two very important softwares you need to go to the faq website for alt store i will have a link to this website that i'm currently on in the description it is provided by the creators of alt store from here, you want to go ahead and download iTunes, first of all. So go ahead and choose whichever one it is. It is probably 64-bit for most people. So go ahead and click on that. That will immediately start the download for the iTunes software. After that, go ahead and download the iCloud for uh, Windows as well. So these two are the ones that you're going to have. You simply want to go ahead and extract them and go ahead and do all of the setup. After doing that, you want to scroll down and go ahead and download uh, Alt Server for your Windows device. Just go ahead and click right here and it will immediately start to download. This file is a lot more compact than the other one, so it's not going to take very long to download. You're going to get this one right here. Simply go ahead and click on Extract All and then go ahead and click on Extract right here. Then you're going to have uh, these two options right here. Go ahead and double tap on setup.exe. It's going to take you to the setup wizard and simply go ahead and complete all of these steps right here. After you've done that, Alt Store will be downloaded on your Windows device. So now we can proceed with the, all the iTunes and iCloud stuff. Uh, and yeah, it, it might give you a Windows security alert but depending on your Windows uh, security settings. And uh, here you definitely want to go ahead and take both of these so that it can actually function on your Wi-Fi network. After you've ticked them, go ahead and click on allow access. After you've installed Alt Store, go ahead and complete the setup for iTunes. For this, you're going to need to connect your iPhone and your Windows device using a cable that is a data transfer cable as well, meaning that you can transfer data between the two devices and it's not only made to deliver power. When you connect them and have iTunes open on your computer, you might get this pop-up saying that uh, do you want to allow this computer to access information on and it's going to say your device name. Go ahead and click on continue right there. And on your phone, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to ask you if you want to trust this computer. So simply go ahead and click on trust right there. After that, you're going to see your device uh, right up in the corner right here. So you want to go ahead and uh, click on it. And when you click on it, you want to scroll down and enable the option sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. What this is going to do is that uh, this is going to allow Alt Store to work in the background and uh, you're not going to have to manually refresh it every time. This has been a bit uh, weird for me, so sometimes it doesn't really work and uh, I still manually have to update it uh, maybe like once a week, but uh, it is worth giving it a shot because it might work for you and that's going to be a lot more convenient. I personally also enable automatically sync when this iPhone is connected, but uh, I don't really know if that's necessary, but uh, I just find that it doesn't really cause any issues and uh, it just feels like when I have that enabled, then it tends to work a little bit more. And you're also going to want to do the iCloud setup as well that you have downloaded. So go ahead and download it and uh, set it up and go ahead and log in with your uh, Apple ID. You can also use a burner Apple ID uh, if you want to and uh, it it's not really necessary because all of the information that is sent through Alt Store is only going directly to Apple and Alt Store will not be looking at any of your data. I don't even know if they can do that, but uh, if you are still uncomfortable, then you can definitely just use a burner account and uh, just create a separate Apple ID and only use that for Alt Store. So when you have done all of that, you will see the Alt Store logo on your taskbar. So go ahead and click on it and you're going to get a bunch of options here. The first one, which says automatically launch at startup. I'm pretty sure that is ticked by default, but if it's not, go ahead and uh, make sure that that is turned on because uh, you don't really want to be starting up all store every single time you start up your computer. And uh, from here, if you have connected it to your device using a wire, then you should see your device right here. So on your device name, just go ahead and uh, click on it and it will start installing Alt Store on your iPhone. Uh, it might ask for your passwords and stuff, so just go ahead and do that. And as I said, you can use a burner Apple ID, meaning you can just create a temporary one for this as well. But just make sure that it is the same one that you have logged in on iCloud on your Windows device. And uh, installing uh, sideloaded apps on your iPhone might not be enabled by default. So in order to fix that, there's this handy guide. What you need to do is go over to privacy and settings. After that, navigate to developer mode and go ahead and enable developer mode. 
that is going to cause your phone to restart so go ahead and uh, let that happen after it's restarted it will ask you again if you want to enable developer mode if you're 100 percent sure that you want to do that so simply go ahead and click on yes on that after that there's one last thing you need to do which is head over to general after that go over to profiles and device management and uh, there you're going to see your burner apple id or your main apple id depending on which one you're using to sideload so simply go ahead and click on trust on that one and yeah after that you should have uh, alt store on your device also i'm pretty sure this is enabled by default but if uh, background refresh in the settings area of the all store app is not enabled go ahead and uh, make sure that it is turned on so that uh, it automatically resets your app after it expires and uh, to sideload apps simply go over to my apps and on the very top you're going to see a plus button so go ahead and click on that navigate to the ipa file and go ahead and enjoy your sideloading